Hi, this is John Rosenhead, Jerusalem Psychotherapist. This week's Torah and Psychology Post, Pasha Shalach, is going to discuss the end of the therapeutic process. Because in this week's Pasha, we read about the mitzvah of, of Hafrash Eschala. And when a person makes a certain amount of bread, they separate a bit of the dough, and they leave it aside, and they burn it. So what is the significance of this mitzvah? So if we look at the, the idea of making bread, Bread can be seen as a man-made process. You take the raw material, the wheat, the flour, and you turn it into something which, is, which gives nourishment and is edible. And this relates to the debate that the Medrash brings between Rabbi Akiva and Turnus Rufus. Where Turnus Rufus said to Rabbi Akiva, what's greater, the work of man or the work of Hashem? And Rabbi Akiva replied, saying, the work of man. Look at this, look at this wheat. It's inedible, we can't do anything with it. This is what we, we receive from Hashem. And look at this cake. This is what man makes, and it is so much greater than the wheat. So you could say that this, the idea of bread gives a person the feeling of achievement, of success. But when we perform hafrash eschala, it gives a message that it's incomplete, it's not perfect. It's not something that is completely attributed to our own success and achievement. It's incomplete, and we have to, we have to recognize that Hashem is also part of the process. Hashem gave us something, Hashem enables us to reach the end goal and to achieve something. And this relates to therapy, because the mitzvah of Hafash Eschala was actually was given to the Bnei Yisrael when they came into Eretz Yisrael. It's the first mitzvah that they were given, that when they c- come into Eretz Yisrael and they make bread and you eat the bread, then you have the mitzvah of Hafash Eschala. And this is because the Bnei Yisrael have been through a whole process of Yitzit Mitzrayim, with the Makos and Matan Torah, and then the time in the Midbar, with the ups and downs of the time in the Midbar. And finally, when they get to the end of this process, the dif- this difficult, long process, and they come into Eretz Yisrael, and they enjoy the fruits of their labor, and they finally get to have a piece of bread, Hashem says, separate the chala. It's not all your own achievement. It's not all your own success. It's not koichi v'ayotamiyadi. There's also... And, and, there's an, and it's important to recognize who helped you along the way. And that is allocating gratitude to Hashem. And in therapy, it's a long, difficult process. And finally, when it's time to end the process, when a person feels that they are better and they're able to move on by themselves, they might feel a sense of relief and achievement and success. And they might see all the, they might allocate all this, this success to themselves now that they are past all the hurdles throughout the therapeutic process. But at the the end of the therapy, the research talks about the different emotions that go on with with the therapist and the client. There's a sense of happiness, relief, sadness, anger. And there's also a question of how to end the therapy. And the research actually discusses, is it appropriate for a therapist to receive a gift from the client? Is it ethical to receive a gift? And in in general, the research says it is appropriate as long as it's done in the right way. And it's a, it's, a, it's a message that the, th- that the client is giving to the therapist that they appreciate and they acknowledge the role of the therapist throughout the therapeutic process. It's not only their own, only their own success and commitment, it's also through the skill and support of the therapist. And this is what giving a gift at the end of the therapy re- symbolizes. And this is the connection with Afrash Eschala. When you get to the end of a process and there's a sense of achievement and success and pride in yourself, that's important, but it's also necessary to recognize what other factors helped you to get to that point? Have a great Shabbos and keep well.